Alright guys, Dig Ollers with you here. I'm out here in these woods and uh, we're hoping for warmer weather, but I got Dime Detective with me. And uh, Doug, he's somewhere lost in the woods and uh, I got the first coin of the day, so let's check it out. I think it's just a penny. Came up 75 to 82. It's really green and it looks really wiped. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. Let's see what we got here. Trying to make out if that's Abe's head. Well, I know it's a coin. I can't make out any detail on it at all. It might be an Abraham Lincoln right there. Let's see if there's anything on this side. That is, uh, huh, see nothing there either. Wow. All right, this might be a really old coin, so um, I'll have to clean it up later and get back with you. All right. The sun has come out, which is a good thing. It warmed up a little bit, too. It's supposed to be in the mid-60s. So, um, I didn't mean to zoom in on that. Here we go. It's like a piece of lead or something. This was coming up around 70. All right, I'll keep that and keep on going. Looks like I found another button. It's worn out. Has something along the edge here. Look, it was some kind of design or something. You see on the back, there's a hole through it. Uh, looks like it was a button. Pretty sure it was. All right. Let's add that to the button list and uh, keep on going. Figure it out later. All right, Daniel's on the relics. Looks like a nice dandy button. Look at that thing. Is it on the back side? I believe it says an H on it. Might have a letter H. That's big too. That thing is the size of a half dollar. All right, congrats. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, we all got together because we've been spread it out a little bit and. Um, I'm going to show you what we found so far. I just dug this. Check that out. I don't know what it is. It's got this fancy top on it. Daniel says it could have been a clock winder, but that is pretty neat. And Doug, let's see what you got, man. Well, I dug, it's a um, cork or a tap. tap, excuse me. A tap for a barrel. A range guide. Look at that range guide. That's pretty nice, man. And these are Justin's. But hang on Justin's on. been digging around in the mud here, and um, he has come across these really old, nice bottles. What's that say? Hambro Distillery? Yes. Hambro Distillery, Baltimore, USA. Baltimore, Maryland, USA. He found this little guy. Check that out. That there is epic. I can't ID that, but we will try to. But that is sweet. And then he found this bottle here. What's that say? Rumford. Rumford, so I'm not sure what Rumford is. Dana, what is Rumford? That's a baking powder bottle, and it's believed to be from the 18 to 1900s. And this, uh, preliminarily checking on Google, 1900 to 1908. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, that's we're doing good. Let's keep on digging around, see what else we can find. 1900, 1908, 1900. All right, guys. Uh, we got a couple of relics here we want to point out. Daniel, what is this, man? That's a silver reed on the front of it, and I believe that to be a faceplate off of a harmonica. Usually we find the reeds. Rarely do we find anything else. Yep, and it's very fragile. And this here is a mystery coin. We've all looked at it, even Justin here with his young eyeballs, and it's either an 1856 penny, which would make it an eagle cent, or it's an 1858, right? Yes. So that would still be an eagle cent. It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. If it's a flying eagle, that, that would be a great find, and it would be my first. So I'm going to do some uh, cleaning up when I get home 
and uh, hopefully I'll be able to determine what it really is. All right, guys, keep on going. So did you find that or he found that? That's his. Let me say it again. Do you mind, Justin? And I got the dog tag. It says sweet. Nansman County, Virginia, see, 224 dog license, right 1972. Right I, would be able to see. I got a weedy. I can't see no feathers. That's the weedy. That's what I was saying. And that's the Indian, the Indian head. head. I'd be able to see the feathers, so I think you got to yourself a nice flying eagle. There you go. All right, guys. Oh, I found a button. Thought it was a coin, but look on the back here. Colonial flat button. There's a shank. Slightly flattened. And most of the time these don't have anything on them. You can see that one doesn't. Okay, that's my first uh, colonial button today. Let's keep on going. Hey guys, the is with you here, and uh, we did a hunt today, found some relics, found some coins, and uh, Justin, uh, newcomer, he found these nice bottles. So we'll start with um, Justin, and tell us about what you got, man. Uh, I got a Hambo Distillery uh, from Baltimore, USA. That's a nice button. So that's a probably old whiskey bottle. And then here's probably a medicine bottle. Or a small uh, liquor bottle, and then here is a Rumford, which is a baking soda. Baking soda bottle. Wow. Okay. And you got this big jug here. What uh, what have you been able to find out about that? Um, it's pot. It's made out of porcelain, but it says J six zero six, and then another six right here. It's got a circle marking on the side. Uh huh. And then it's got another marking all the way on this side, which is a line and three dots. Line and three dots on there. So if anybody knows what that is, can identify it, go ahead and drop a comment. All right, Doug, how about you? What you got, man? Hey, yeah, so I just got a range guide today. That's nice. A lot of people love to find a range guide, so that's not just a range guide. That is it's a nice... A decorative one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at that. All right. Spout. That's a spout for a jug? Yep. Possibly something like this? Yep, probably got some little writing there or something, maybe. I think it's got some writing. Alright. I got a, a Indian head, weedy, a dog license from Nansman County, 19, Virginia, 1972. 1972. Yes. That's an old one. Some junk stuff. Yeah. I won't show them all the trash that I dug. Yeah, it's about all the trash I'm showing. Alright, um, start over here with me too. A uh, little colonial flat button. Got a shank on it. I got something here. It might be some kind of tag. I hadn't been able to ID. It's got a hole in it. It's got a raised thing on it right there. Um, this here, I think, is a bottle topper. Not really sure. It says something right there. I'm going to have to um, clean it up and look at it. It's pretty neat. It's all copper. And um, I, um, one of my finds here, it looks like it might be a button but because it's thin. Haven't been able to determine what that is. And then um, this is a penny. Now this right here, from what we can tell, is a bucket lister. And I believe it's a, pretty sure it's a flying eagle. Now, flying eagle, they're pretty valuable. This one here, if it's the first year, it's worth a lot of money. Just don't know. I haven't been able to get the date off of it clearly yet. But uh, that's my first ever flying eagle scent. All right. Now for Daniel. I didn't find much of great value. There were a lot of pieces of copper and things that just uh -huh. weren't worthy of being here. Okay. Um, this said silver reed on it. I was thinking that it was from a harmonica, but when I just Googled it, it also brought up, brought up some antique stitching machines. So okay. I have to check more on that. And then this large dandy button. An intact shank. All right. Intact shank. All right, guys. Digologist saying goodbye. And everybody, you did a good job today. Justin, first timer. Found some really neat bottles. So be sure to like, subscribe, and share these videos. Thank you.